Hey everybody, hope it's going well. Just a quick little video. I've recently been playing around a little bit with time-lapse photography and uh, just like learning the basics of how to do it and everything. And it, it got me wondering how many shots can I get out of, out of a fully charged battery on my uh, Pentax K1. So I thought I'd do a couple of tests and uh, just to kind of bring guys along so you can see the results that I get. I'm actually testing, I'm going to do a couple of tests. I've got the genuine Pentax battery that uh, basically was fully charged a couple of days ago and I also have a couple of uh, knockoff uh, batteries as well too and I'm going to give those a test as well. Plus I also have a genuine battery that's been sitting in my bag for probably about a, a month or so so I might give it a try too just to see how well it actually holds the charge and uh, if I get sort of some sort of a, uh, a comparable results from the one that's been recently charged versus the one that's just been sitting in the uh, the bag for a month or two. Anyways, uh, I'll quickly show you my setup and uh, I'll get the ball rolling on the test. So here we go. So this is my setup. Pretty basic. This camera is sitting on the tripod, obviously, taking a, a repetitive picture of that. Not that it's really relevant to this. And I have it hooked up with a, a wireless controller. I have my shutter speed set at, let me just turn this on so I can see, it is at uh, uh, 0.6 of a second, uh, f8 and ISO 100. Uh, basically I have everything set to manual, I have the, the, the focusing manually, um, all the in-camera stuff like the horizon correction, lens correction, all that stuff is turned off. I am just shooting raw to one card so it's not uh, making two raw files so basically going to one card when and if that card fills up because it's basically saying the one card I can get just under 800 uh, it'll automatically start writing to the other card but I'm, I'm thinking it might not get that far but we'll see but as you can see eh, the battery is fully charged um, just trying to think of anything else that's relevant um, it is it, it will I'm basically shooting it, giving it like a, it's taking one shot, then five seconds, and then taking the next shot. So it's not just repetitive, um, bang, 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 off go the pictures. So um, that's what it is. Um, anything else of importance? I don't think so. Like I said, everything's all manual. So of course, if you're shooting with the autofocus on and a few other options, it will of course affect your results. But this is sort of the way I've been using the setup for, for now, at least as it stands for playing around with the time lapses while I'm learning. So I figure for me, it's a, a good starting point and give me an idea what I can get. And, and maybe for other K1 owners out there, also give you an idea what you might be able to do. But of course, it's gonna depend on exactly what your, your setup is. But anyways, let's uh, get this rolling. Start. And away we go. And as you can see, I, I do have the focus confirmation on, so it'll probably beep every, every once in a while. And it is actually bringing up the display uh, between shots. And that could be turned off too, but I'm trying to keep, keep it somewhat simple so that um, it's, I'm not like completely cheating the system. I'm having absolutely everything turned off because it's somebody's always going to have something turned on but anyways that's the way it is starting with the the, the uh, genuine Pentax battery and then uh, we'll carry on from there we'll see you in a little bit so we're back it's the next day um, actually it took a lot longer to do the first part than I expected it to um, I got a little a, su a surprising number of photos out of the, the one battery. I got a little over 3,200 and it ran for like four and a half hours, but uh, I was quite surprised about that. But anyways, um, what I've got in the camera now, I have the, the original Pentax battery, but this one has been sitting in my bag for a month or two, to be honest. I'm not sure exactly how long, but uh, I estimate a couple of months anyway. So we'll see how well it's held its charge and uh, get it up and going. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the first part or not. Um, I went through a bunch of the, the settings, but I don't remember whether I mentioned that um, I was uh, shooting JPEG with the RAW or not, but I, it's, a, it's a straight up RAW, there's no JPEG. And um, 
other than that uh, let's get this one started and see how long it lasts and uh, we'll go from there so again you can see my settings are the same as last time f8 uh, 0.6 of a second iso 100 running it off the remote basically nothing's changed the camera's still set up exactly the same way it was the only thing i did was put the battery in format the cards and um, that was it oh another thing i did never mention is with the the, the first test where it ran uh, over 3200 i actually had to um, st stop at one point in time and put a, another memory card in because i did fill up the two cards that were in there so um, it was just one little thing to add just uh, in case anybody is curious about that so anyways let's get started on this and we'll get her going We'll catch up to you in a few minutes. So back again, the um, the, the the battery that was sitting in my bag for a couple of months, it's uh, run its course and it actually did surprisingly well too. I would have figured it would have lost more charge just sitting there than it actually did, but I got just a little over 3,000 3, shots out of that um, uh, fully charged sitting for about two month battery. So. Um, next I'm going to uh, switch over to a, uh, another battery and uh, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So I have these three um, off-brand batteries. These two here are basically no-name ones and this one here seems to be a fairly common one in the community of Wasabi battery. And um, after giving some thought I was originally going to going to do all three but that's just going to take too much time and a lot of actuations on the camera so I'm just going to stick with this one here the one that um, uh, everyone kind of goes on about saying it's one of the better ones so I'm going to try it this one was, was fully charged last night and I actually have one of these that was in my bag sitting there about the same length of time as the uh, as the Pentax battery so I'm going to uh, do those two and uh, then we'll, we'll leave it at that and uh, we'll, I'll come back at the end and sort of do a, a summarization of everything and uh, give you some thoughts. So we'll throw this one in and get started. So again, settings same as before, 0.6 of a second, F8, ISO 100, and we'll give it a go. And I'm expecting this one will probably be similar to the other ones, probably roughly around 3,000 shots and uh, probably about uh, four hours worth of... Um, recording time but um, I'll uh, we'll continue this as soon as uh, this is done and we'll see you in a few seconds so the wasabi battery has uh, run its course it was actually uh, significantly a lot less uh, actuations out of it than the, the genuine Pentax battery it only got about uh, uh, 1200 out of it so uh, the next one I'm going to try which uh, I not holding any hopes up for is the, the wasabi battery that was charged and put in the bag at the same time as the Pentax one uh, and uh, so it's been between one and two months but I'm going to give that one a go and just see what we do get out of it but I'm, I'm having this feeling that we're not going to get that much out of it but we'll give her a try anyways just to see what happens. So again, this is the Wasabi battery, the one that's been in my bag for, for a couple of months. And as you can see, settings are still the same. Uh, I only put uh, one memory card in there uh, just because the, the fully charged one, that didn't even fill up one card. But anyways, we're going to give this one a shot and see what we get. And uh, I'll let you know in a few minutes. And away it goes. One shot, that's a good step in the right direction. Okay, so we're back from uh, our final test. Uh, it's actually uh, the next day. It was just, uh, it got too dark, so it's difficult to do the video. But anyways, just a, in conclusion, basically the, the, the Wasabi battery that was in the bag basically lasted about as long as the one that was freshly charged. So. I was actually surprised about that. I didn't. I honestly didn't think the Wasabi battery would hold its charge, but it did. But uh, again, as you, you can, if you've been following all this all the way through, you can see the Wasabi battery didn't last anywhere near as long as the genuine Pentax battery did. But uh, yeah, it it is it is there in a pinch, no, no matter what. But um, anyways, 
give you a, a, a little bit of more information here. Um, just in case you're wondering, those Wasabi batteries, they are not that old. I only purchased them about six months ago and have not used them that much just because I did find that that the couple of times I used them, they seemed to die pretty fast. So I wasn't, wasn't convinced that they were the, the, the right batteries for me to use. But um, again, they are there if I need them. And uh, also with the, the Pentax batteries, I've basically have owned a few Pentax cameras, uh, basically the, the, the K5, or sorry, I started with the K7, then went with the K5, then the K5-2S, and finally the K1. So the genuine batteries that I've been using, the age of them, I don't know how old they are, because it's possible that one of the batteries I used in the test was an older one from the K7. And uh, I actually had a look at the batteries, but I didn't see any date on them, so it's difficult to say whether or not I was using the brand new battery from the K1 or using an older battery. But anyways, just thought I'd bring that to your attention. But anyways, um, that's sort of it. Um, I know some people are going to say, well, this isn't, th this test isn't a, a realistic use uh, under normal conditions. And I do agree, and I think I mentioned it at the start of the video. That the main idea was that for this was to see if I was doing time lapse because I start playing with them. If I was doing a time lapse, just to see roughly how long I could actually get out of a battery setting it up, and of course being outdoors if it's cold out, battery's not going to last as long. And there's a lot of a lot of variations, so I do realize that that these numbers aren't going to be conclusive, and you shouldn't be relying on them. But it's more just a test, just to see what I could get. And under normal cir uh, shooting circumstances, like a wedding or something like that, you're going to be using your autofocus. You're going to be have uh, myself. I like to have my horizon correction on. So, and everybody shoots a little bit different. So the results are going to vary, of course. But I still thought it was an interesting test, even just in regards to see how long the Wasabi batteries lasted in relationship to the Pentax batteries. Also, as a side note. The, um, I do also have some other generic um, off-brand, like I guess they're off-brand, but they're, they're generic. I couldn't find any name on the batteries. And I've actually have, for the most part, found I got pretty favorable results out of them. So just, just the fact that Wasabi batteries didn't last long does not necessarily mean that other generic ones aren't going to be very good. So it's it's just uh, something to keep in mind. You're going to get variations with different brands and perhaps even different lots because the Wasabi batteries, I've heard a lot of people say that they're, they're quite good. So you, it's, it's, you're going to have to basically do your own experimenting and see what you can get. But anyways, that's about, um, that's about it. If you like this uh, information and you like what you see on my channel, subscribe. If you think you might have other Pentax users who are interested in this, feel free to share. But um, Otherwise, that's about it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye.